Hello everyone, my name is Jajaj Patel and you are watching Jajaj Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 52 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully create this section, category section. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on the teacher's dashboard section. So we are going to create this page from here. So without wasting of time, let's get started. Guys, I am on the same page. Just uh, look at here. This is our index page. So, I am going to copy this index page by Ctrl C and press Ctrl N for new page. Select the PHP from here. Paste it from here. And then press Ctrl plus S to save this page. So, I am going to save this page on the same directory. Where, uh, where is the same directory? Yeah, here is the desktop and then www section, YouTube, e-learning. Here I am going to uh, save this page with the name, dashboard. Okay, let's uh, save it with the teacher.php. Save this page from here. Okay, so now let's try to get that page from here with the name okay uh, just because I'm writing a wrong spelling from here okay so just look at this now now the R page is available here but it doesn't need this uh, slider plus this all are here so I'm going to cut this all from here just because we doesn't need that one from here now let's uh, try to refresh it again so uh, just look at here we have here a footer and header only so now the next task is we need to a uh, crum menu from here so how can we get the crum menu so i'm going to open the card.php and now let's uh, try to open function.php and here is our cart and inside that cart we have that uh, crum section so I'm going to copy that one from here. Control plus S to save this page. Now let's try to refresh it again. So you can see you can see here the crumb section is available here. Now the next task is we need to create the page uh, design from here. So how can we get the design from there? So just simply give the id with the dashboard oh uh, just look at uh, just only with the dash now let's try to design that dash into the r uh, style.css so we have a dash icon oh uh, sorry dash id from here so i'm going to down and after this Get right section we are going to design a dash section from here so its width will be 100% and its height will be auto and then let's set the background with the has FFF and we need a padding from the all side 5% and its box sizing will be the border box okay Let's try to refresh and check. So you can see that no effects are available here. Let's see the spelling is correct or not. ID is dash. Now it doesn't need index.php and it doesn't need also this one. Okay. We need uh, CSS from here. So I'm going to open the CSS section from here. So you can see that the CSS is up, uh, appear from here. Now I'm going to down here. Height, we doesn't need the height from here. So we'll remove that height and say the 0, 0, 0. Okay. I think something is uh, missing from here. 
let's check out with the let's create a one h1 tag with the dashboard name let's refresh it now and check so you can see that the dashboard is available here but the padding is not coming from here just because yeah the spelling is wrong let's refresh it now I think we are going to open that one into the our uh, Opera Mini. Let's check out with the Opera Mini. Let's first of all clear the history. Clear the data. Now let's try to open this one. Just so you can see that our section is coming from here. You can see that. Now let's uh, remove the background color from here it's because it doesn't need the background color from there so the dashboard is coming from here but i think we need to decrease the padding from all side two percent only okay nice looking very good and very nice now we need to set the color of that uh, h1 tag so inside the dash if we have a h1 tag then it's a uh, color will be has uh, Three or five to six seven. Now let's try to refresh it. Okay, the text is like this one. Instructor dashboard. Control C. And then Control V. Control S to save it. And now let's try to refresh that one. So you can see that the instructor dashboard section is available from here. But from the top it have uh, so much spaces around from there so we need to decrease the spaces okay so, uh, let's set the margin bottom property from the one percent refresh it so you can see that now the dashboard is looking very good very nice and now we also need to uh, set font weight normal property from here just because we doesn't need the font like this bold so you can see that now it's looking very good and very nice. Now we also need to set the width of that uh, H1 tag just because we also need a one form tag. There just, uh, just look at here. We have also have a form tag here. Okay. So I'm going to set the width with the 30%. Okay. Now I'm going to again into the dash ID and here I'm going to create a one form tag okay and its method will be the post method okay and now one new section with the id equal to uh, hmm, c form which means a uh, course form course create form so i'm going to create a one input tag from here which type it will, uh, will be the text and its name will be C name and then the placeholder will be enter okay let's see what we have here enter course name here course name here okay let's close this uh, tag from here and after that one we are again going to create a one uh, button tag with the name add course okay and give the name like create course okay let's see the output what we have here so you can see that the output is coming from here so now we are going to make one changes from here here we are going to use a float property float will be the left so now it will be coming from here so you can see that you can see that okay and also now we are going to design that form tag from here have some form then margin from bottom 2% let's refresh and check okay so you can see that now and also now let's uh, create a, that uh, ID which is we are going to add here 
C form. Okay, so C form. Okay, now also we need to set the width of that uh, form tag. So width will be 70% just because we add a width here 30%. Okay, if okay, so now C, so its uh, height will be. Uh, 30 pixel okay no, 35 pixel and its weight will be the hundred percent just because it is inside into the form tag and we also de uh, define the form tag height uh, sorry width 70 percent okay so now we are going to use here hundred percent of width which is coming from here okay so now we set the width and we set the background will be has ff okay let's try to check what we have here so you can see that but uh, but 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 okay let's uh, try to say here also float right property here okay let's refresh and check so you can see that our uh, section is coming from here just because we are using a float here so we need to uh, we need to clear the float from here so i'm going to use here br clear all property from here and now let's try to refresh it again so you can see the output as we have here okay so now also we need to uh, make one more change from here we need to remove this one from here and set the width uh, margin from bottom one person only so you can see that the output is coming from here perfectly so now uh, we are going to make some another change from here we are going to use here a 40 percent of weight and here uh, 60 percent of weight okay let's refresh and check so you can see that output is coming from here as we have here okay so now the next task is we need to radius the borders so how can we do that so simply what we are going to do here into the C form we are going to use your border radius property and 15 pixel okay let's see the output from here so you can see that the border is now radius from here okay so now we are going to design this input tag from here inside the C form so C form have some input then uh, its uh, width will be 80% and its height will be 35 pixel as we have a C form height okay and also its background will be none okay none and then also outline also be the none none okay and also border width zero pixel okay now let's check out with the output so you can see that the output is coming perfectly from here so now the next task is we need some padding from here so how can we set the padding so we set the padding from the left side five percent and its box sizing will be the border box okay let's refresh it again and check so you can see that the output is coming perfectly from here but we doesn't need the 5% padding we only need this one so you can see that the output is coming perfectly now from here and now we are going to design this button from here so it's the, it's the same way we are going to use the copy this one from here paste that one from here and change the input with the button okay and its width will be 20% okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the output is coming perfectly from here but we need to decrease the uh, weight or uh, sorry yeah yeah weight so you can see that the weight is coming from here perfectly now let's check the output so you can see that the output with the blue color so let's uh, define the color from here so we are going to simply change the color with the 3 f5 to 6 7 and it's a border color we are also going to design border one pixel solid has 3 f5 to 6 7 okay 
okay so now also we are going to design the background with the has fff okay of the input now let's refresh and check what we have here so you can see that the border is coming perfectly from here okay you can see that but we need to radius the input also from here so how can you do that so simply what we are going to do here just copy this one from here and paste that one from here now let's again refresh and check so you can see that the border is coming perfectly from here okay 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 we made a mistake from here doesn't need the radius from here we also we only need the radius from the top left side and top left uh, bottom left side okay top left radius okay as the same way we are going to copy this one from here and paste that one from here and say bottom left okay let's refresh and check so you can see that 10 pixel is uh, not so good i'm going with the 20 oh sorry 15 pixel and here is also a 15 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that our output is coming perfectly from here but uh, we need some changes from here we need to decrease the input height 32 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that okay okay 35 pixel is perfect let's refresh and check so you can see that okay let's uh, try to remove the background from oh uh, sorry border from here control x refresh it so you can see that it's also looking very good very nice from here you can see that here as we have here a border but here is also we have a good output from here so also we can set like that one and also we need to some changes from here we need to set the color from here has FFF which means white color let's refresh so you can see that our output is coming from here perfectly and also we need to set one more thing from here we are going to set the cursor yeah we are going to set here a cursor pointer property from here just because when someone hover on it so it will be the cursor okay so you can see that the cursor is coming perfectly from here and our output is also coming perfectly from here so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos okay 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 let's set one more thing from here let's set the box uh remove this uh border width property from here and here we are going to set one border border one pixel solid has uh, 3 f5 to 6 7 let's refresh and check so you can see that now the output is looking very good perfect very very perfect output here okay so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get the direct notification into your inbox so guys stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching guys goodbye